Korma is a dish originating in India consisting of meat or vegetables braised with yogurt and spices. My homemade version is low in calories and made in 20 minutes. First off, I will start with the chicken and I will go with chicken thigh for this recipe. This weighs 150 gram without the skin that I will try to completely remove. The skin is where most of the fat is stored, so by removing it, I will reduce the calories by almost half. A little bit of fat on the edges is okay, this will add flavor to the sauce. Then I will slice this into strips and then into 2 cm sized chunks. I will add a touch of salt and set this aside. Next are the vegetables and for my karma version, I will peel and dice one medium sized onion that weighs around 50 gram. I have also seen recipes with paprika, so feel free to adjust this to your personal preference. Next are two cloves of garlic, by crushing them with the knife they can be peeled super easy. Then I will take a ginger and cut one piece that is roughly the size of my thumb. I will remove the skin and then you can either cut the garlic and ginger very fine or if you have a pestle and mortar, add them in and crush them until it becomes a fine paste like this. Next are spices and here's where you can really experiment with flavors. I honestly like it very simple, I will add 1 teaspoon of turmeric with 1 teaspoon of hot chili powder. I have seen versions with coriander, cumin or clove, so there is really no right or wrong in my opinion as long as you stay with oriental spices. Now for the sauce I will add 100 gram of coconut milk in a small bowl. If you want to use coconut cream that's also fine, just use roughly 25 gram of cream with 75 grams of water to reduce the calories from the coconut cream that are way higher than from the coconut milk. Then I will add 100 gram of plain yogurt, this one has 1.5% fat. I don't like adding Greek yogurt to this, plain yogurt is slightly sweeter in my opinion and I like it more in combination with the coconut. Now that everything is prepared, I will start with a touch of olive oil into a pan on medium high heat. I will first add in the onion to give them a small head start and they can start to caramelize around 2 minutes. Once they start to get color, I will add in the chicken and fry them until both sides start to get brown. This is called the Maillard reaction and the reason why things get browned in the first place. This develops hundreds of different flavor compounds and makes everything tastier. As soon as the chicken is nice and brown, I will add in the garlic ginger paste and then the spices that I made earlier. Fry this now for around 30 seconds and toast the spices so they can develop some additional flavor as well. Now I will add in the coconut milk and the yogurt, give everything a nice stir, reduce the heat to medium, close the lid and let this simmer now for around 10 minutes so all the flavor can really start to know each other. If needed I will add a bit of salt and then the base of chicken korma is basically ready. You can now add this to rice or also boiled potatoes which is my personal favorite but what I sometimes do to add really a ton of volume is to weigh 300 gram of frozen vegetables. This will add maybe 100 calories but also a huge amount of food for days where I'm very hungry. I will add the frozen vegetables now straight into the pan. This will cool down the pan but that's okay. I will just add a little bit of water, close the lid and bring this back up to boil. I will cook this now for another 3 to 4 minutes and there you go. A super high volume chicken korma that takes around 20 minutes to make. The entire recipe comes in with 528 calories, 46 grams of carbs, 20 grams of fat and 43 grams of protein. Check out this video if you want to see how to make another Indian dish, a low calorie chicken tikka masala and I will see you in the next video.